What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have an M54 valve cover gasket replacement. This is on my three liter Z3. It's pretty much the same process than an E46, X3, X5. All the three liter cars, the M54. This little car has been leaking oil for quite some time now and I think it's coming from the valve cover gasket. We went ahead and ordered one on eBay. We have it here with us. It's about 25 bucks on eBay. I'll link some links down in the description if you want some OEM stuff. FCP Euro has them as well. But we're just going with the cheapy today because this is a cheap little budget project car. So we got a fresh one lined up, ready to go. Let's get started. So like I said, this process is pretty much going to be the same between all the platforms. However, main difference is how this hood cowl slash wiring is made up on your chassis. So like I said, this is a little Z3, fun little car. And uh, we actually have quite a bit of space back here. So we can access these back bolts quite easily. Uh, your other models, E46s, X3s, you might need to actually remove some of this wiring that runs along the back of the firewall here. Usually there's a few bolts kind of tucked underneath that way you can flip it up out of the way and then get your tools in. So you might be wondering where our little cover is. We actually went ahead and took that off last time we were diagnosing the car. Those two little tin mills are already removed. We're actually going to be doing spark plugs while we're at it. So we're actually going to do spark plugs while we're at it. So Tyler's going to go ahead and remove the coal packs that way we can get through the spark plugs. The way the coal packs come unclipped, you pull this little metal clasp up and then just go ahead and wiggle that wire out. Like okay. All right, pop them out. Something I like to look at is, is there oil on the edge of these coil packs? This one looks really, really nicely, so that's a good sign that our uh, tube seals are sealing, but that's cylinder one of six. Oh yeah. So sometimes they will uh, show the camera, sometimes they'll come off in pieces. We'll go down here, fish out. There it is. So first spark plugs out. I know this isn't a spark plug video. However, it's always a good idea to kind of do it as part of just your kind of maintenance schedule. This is the first spark plug. I don't know if you can see it. It is, I think it's the original. This car is about 121,000 miles on it. And this is super, super gunked up. So this is cylinder number six spark plug. It is super, super oily, which might be a uh, part of our vacuum leak slash oil leak of the valve cover gasket. Definitely something you don't want to see, but in our case, since we're replacing it, hopefully we can fix this with the new gaskets. Spark plugs are in, time to take off the valve cover. We got these obvious little 10 millimeter bolts kind of spread out around the uh, edges. And luckily, like I said, we have these little, little holes that we can actually access these back ones from. And then we're gonna unclip our little O2 sensors. We have a little PCV vent here that we need to kind of pinch in and remove as well. And don't wanna forget, we have the grounds in the middle, uh, which are held in by eight millimeter nuts. And then underneath them is another 10 millimeter nut. So there's a nut on top of a nut to uh, remove these. So we got all the little bolts out. There's a bunch of them. And like I said, there's some, like I said, there was some in the middle. So these were double stacked on the grounds. Don't forget the ones in the middle. Those will be a little sneaky. Is it wiggling? Yeah, but. Not really? Ooh. Yes. Okay. <laughs> she was a little that. stuck. Still have the coil pack harness. We got to keep an eye on as we kind of wiggle this out. Yeah, gotta love the Z3. Everybody needs a Z3. That is not supposed to stay there. Like yeah. that. And it just broke off. Like pasta. <laughs> Uncooked noodles. That's definitely the problem. Yeah. I was That's the so. gasket. <laughs> Taking a quick look at the cams. What I'm trying to look for is discoloration, scoring scratches that you can feel or see. Uh, ours look pretty pretty decent. This is somewhat of a low mileage motor. The owner before really didn't take that great of care of it. He ran it low on oil a couple times. So there is a bit of a lifter tick. We're gonna look at that here in a second and see if we can see any noticeable signs of wear and tear. First glance, cams, we look good. The gasket is the original, 120K. It is rock hard, probably the worst I've ever seen. We're gonna get all this old gasket material off, cleaned up, clean up the mating surfaces so we can throw the fresh one on. This is the gasket, watch. It is now plastic. Like you, we can barely even get this off in one piece. Oh. That was the rubber gasket. 
getting a car that's not very well maintained definitely kind of shows in little things like this being that's your gasket. <laughs> yeah. Already got the old valve cover gasket out. Here's our new tube seals. We cleaned everything up with some brake clean. So went along the edges, cleaned it all up. <laughs> and now I'm gonna go ahead and rub a little bit of motor oil kind of along the edges of the new gasket just to make sure none of the old brake clean gets on there. And that way you can kind of swell up and stay soft and not get uh, dried out and cracked. So whenever it gets dried out and brittle and hard, that's how you know the gasket's going bad. So tube seals, plop in the gasket like so. And then here's the other three cylinders. And we're gonna gently line up the gasket on, on the edge of the valve cover. And then the boys right now are cleaning the mating surfaces of the, uh, of the head. So that way we can go ahead and uh, lay the new cover on. Note, we're gonna put a little RTV silicone on the crease between the uh, front cover and, uh, and the head. Right where the little crease is, we're gonna RTV that. I think there's one on the other side as well. Mm -hmm. So we're just finishing it up. Valve cover's back on, O2s are clipped back in, all the bolts are tightened down. I'll put the torques back here on the screen. About to throw the little coil packs back in the holes. There are a few little vacuum lines we gotta be careful, we accidentally ripped one. There are a few wires on the Z3 that tuck back into the valve cover, kind of clips in. So we're just tucking those back in. Make sure we gotta connect our grounds, one here, one in the middle, and then the last one in the back. And after all that's set, you should be ready to fire up. So I did actually have a couple lean codes on this car before, and I'm wondering if it was from either, either the bad vacuum leak or something else, maybe the PCV system. So uh, fingers crossed we fixed it. Valve cover gasket job is complete. We're gonna go ahead and fire it up and see how she looks, make sure everything's snug and tight and there's no visible leaks or like hissing noise. Alrighty guys, that is gonna do it for this video. If it helped you out at all, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. Help a lot more people find the video in the channel. Right, Thank you guys so much right, for watching. I'll catch you guys in right. the next video. That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Hey, coming down like precipitation. I ain't never.